Let's set up our first ad using the Ultimate Ads plugin. We'll start out by adding a banner ad to the title screen. Banner ads usually appear at the top or bottom of the screen and prompt users to visit websites, install apps, etc. We're going to add the banner to the start screen, just above the title, and we'll dismiss it when the screen is tapped, right before we go to the next layout. Let's switch to the event sheet and set the banner ad up. We want to display a banner ad at the start of the layout, but we can't just display an ad right away. First, we need to preload the ad. This doesn't take long, but it isn't immediate, so if you try to display an ad before it's loaded, it will fail and nothing will be displayed. We need to preload the ad on the start of the layout and then display it as soon as it's been loaded. Create a new event using the system object and choose On Start of Layout. Add an action using Ultimate Ads and choose Load Banner. Now, when the ad is finished loading, we need to display it. Ultimate Ads has an event for this. Add another event using the Ultimate Ads object. We want to use the On Banner Loaded event. It's pretty self explanatory, but this event fires off as soon as the banner is loaded. Once the banner is loaded, it's ready to be displayed, and we can display it by adding an action using Ultimate Ads and selecting the Show Banner action. That's it. Now, when this project is built using PhoneGap or Cocoon, the banner ad will be displayed in test mode. Unfortunately, you can't see it in action when you preview the layout here. Only once you build the release APK that can be installed on a mobile device. Last, I'd like to dismiss the banner just before we go to the next layout. I have an event set up here so that after the player touches the screen, they are sent to the next layout, level 1. Let's add an action under this event using Ultimate Ads and select Hide Banner. We need to drag this up above the Go to Layout action. So, when the layout is loaded, we preload a banner ad. As soon as the ad has finished preloading, we show the banner. And finally, when we start the game, the banner is hidden, and we go to the next layout. That's how easy it is to get a banner ad set up on your game. Again, if we try to preview the game, you won't be able to see the ads. You have to build the project for mobile before you can see them in action. We'll take a look at how to build the game later, but for now, I've got a finished build here. And this is what our banner ad looks like with test ads. Before we move on to the next ad type, I'd like to quickly run through the events and actions available to use with banner ads. Most of these are really self-explanatory, but let's run through them and see what we can do. If I add an event and choose the Ultimate Ads object, we've got seven events we can use with the banner ad type. We used on banner loaded, which fires off when the banner is loaded, but we've also got is banner loaded. This will check if the banner is loaded. That way, you can check if the banner is loaded at a later period of time, not just as soon as it's finished loading. Is showing banner will return true if the banner is currently being shown. On banner clicked for when the user clicks or taps on the ad. On banner dismissed for when the user dismisses the banner. On banner failed, which will be triggered when the banner fails to load. And on banner shown, which is triggered when the banner is shown. If we add an action using the Ultimate Ads object, we can load, show, and hide the banner. Also, we can use Set Banner Layout to place the banner at the top center, the bottom center, or a custom XY position. Alright, that covers everything. Let's move on to the next ad type, Interstitial Ads.